In the text, stories transcend our perspective on outcasts through the view of children. Both Past the Shell is written by Favell Parrott and the film E.T., directed by Steven Spielberg, use storytelling as a means of revealing a personal and shared nature of human experiences. Both texts have elements of a shared and personal experience of empathy and kindness to other people or life forms who would otherwise be overlooked. They show a personal experience of initiative and care towards another, while also inspiring the others around them to do the same and create a shared human experience. Challenging previously held perspectives on the outcasts of society or the extraterrestrial members of society. The use of storytelling in the text is effective in conveying the human experience of empathy by showing a deferring act of societal norms through acceptance. Favell Parrot's Past the Shallows is told in a native style, which is effective in revealing personal and shared nature of personal experiences. It emphasises more of the personal experience as we don't see the whole story, fragmenting the story, filling in gaps, showing how the story is told in memory. Objects such as the mother's car seat to emphasise personal human experience told through the use of stories. The link between Past the Shallows and E.T. is that they both use a paradox of family to convey the internal message of the stories. Through the perspective of Harry, the book sends a message of that the paradoxes of life can be when people are driven to find family even when surrounded by people, especially when that drive is towards someone seen as an outcast, abstaining from embarrassment or judgment to achieve a feeling of care and solidarity between a relationship of family fe feeling. We see the comparison in character when Miles is faced with the fact that Harry wanted to go to George's house, and his reaction proves this. What? What are you talking about? How do you know him? We are not going there. I don't know him. Parrot has used this as a comparison to truly highlight the impact of Harry's perspective and reiterate that although people see him as a monster, he's just like everyone else. The difference in means of acceptance of George is shown when Harry starts to pick up the pace to find safety with George. Meanwhile, Miles, meanwhile, Miles prefers to walk slowly in his doubt in the safety of George's home. Although Miles and Harry have been brought upon the same knowledge about George, Harry is the one to go out of his way to seek care. In a, prog in a progression with introducing Miles to George, he is quickly reassured in an effort to change his emotion from fear and embarrassment to comfort and security, especially as George goes out of his way to take care of Miles's cut to his head, and also when Miles finally feels at home, laying in front of the fire in the bed that George had laid out for him. By taking a step forward into accepting an outcast, Miles moves on from his previously held perspectives to find a home in the safety of George. His revival of family is brought back when Harry falls asleep through the, and through the use of flashback, Miles revives his memories of his grandpa in the form of George in this quote. He closed his eyes. He knew that smell. It was the smell of Granddad's house, the smell of rich, sweet pipe tobacco. And Miles could see Granddad sitting by the fire listening to the radio, his eyes almost closed, slowly puffing on his pipe. And he was there too, just a small boy playing on the floor with his matchbox cars. Parrot has purposely done this to present her message through the use of stories in a simpler style through the eyes of a child. Looking onto the story through a child's mind can also be used as a way to reveal a deeper personal or collect collective experience from a raw open-minded brain still to be shaped into society's mould. Through the use of stories, the personal and collective experience of the two boys is shown here by showing their different emotional reactions to having to accept an outcast of society that would be more so overlooked by the rest of society.